Here we have a typical pattern folding question. And when we fold it up together, we can see from the answer choices that it kind of looks like a piece of cheesecake. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at how all the pieces connect to one another, especially the square pieces. So here we go. Okay, this top piece will connect right here to this piece. And this square here at the bottom will connect to this square piece right there. So I'm going to go ahead and move them into place so you can visualize what that would look like. When it goes up and rotates, this piece will go right there. And when this piece rotates, it will go right there. So just off of that, we can see that this answer choice right here at the bottom is completely absurd. So we're going to go ahead and cross it out. There is no way that one of these slices is going to go diagonal while the other one goes up and down. Cancel that out. Now we're going to take a look at the other answer choices. They're a little bit harder to eliminate. So I'm going to really concentrate on the little triangle on all of them. It's a little bit easier to use the um, triangle that's got a shaded side than the solid side because it's got more references that we can look at. So here we go. This triangle right here is the same one that's in this figure right here and in this figure right here. So that's what we're gonna look at right now. Okay, here we go. We can see that that triangle has the white side of it touches a gray side. We know that that's always going to be the case to already touch it. So the white side touches a gray side. Is that the case here? No, it's not. Just like that, cross out. White side should touch a gray side. Does it do that? It does not. Cross it out. And just like that, we've got our correct answer choice. And we didn't even have to be flipping anything like crazy. Alrighty, everyone. I hope that helped. And feel free to message me with any other questions that you may have. Thank you.